Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this video we will take a look at the 2 Trees Totem S laser. A laser that is advertised as being a 40 watt diode laser engraver or cutter. I received this machine for free to make a review, but everything I say is my own opinion and I'm not being paid or even being asked to tell things that are not my own findings. The 2 Trees laser comes as a kit that you will have to assemble yourself. And although most of the build is pretty straightforward, there are some challenging things to do, like mounting a cable to a 2020 extrusion that is almost impossible to place. While building the machine, it already was clear to me that there are no end stops used in the laser frame, and this means that there is no possibility to home the laser and this is something that I'm used to do with my other laser machines. Yet, it's not really something that is necessary. The laser is mounted on a lifting platform, making it very easy to focus the laser. And because the laser uses a condensed spot, it's extremely powerful even at low powers. And this is something that you should keep in consideration when focusing the laser. The laser is equipped with a laser diode that has a real optical output of 5.23 watts and it uses a special lens named an LD FACC lens, but forget, forget this immediately. Uh, it's a special lens that makes a square spot of only 0.08 millimeters. This means that the laser is very powerful, as you can see when engraving hard materials like plywood, aluminum, stone and steel. Where in an earlier video I used mustard as a catalyst to etch uh, in steel, with this laser I don't need the mustard, while the machine is extremely capable of marking steel directly. The frame of the machine is 40 by 40 centimeters and it's pretty sturdy. The motors are on the outside and well capable of moving the laser head and the cables are nicely grouped in a sturdy protective sleeve and I don't like the design of the PCB housing that is completely open on the backside and well I think there should be some kind of protection behind it but yeah, this is something we see with more diode lasers nowadays. Then the real world test of the laser. It can engrave wood, it can cut wood and even mark on anodized aluminum and steel and yes, even on high reflective blank steel. Even glass was no challenge for this laser and I'm pleasantly surprised by the capabilities of this laser that is sold for just above $200. There is however a thing that I don't like and that you should know. This laser is just like many other brands an open build laser and this means that laser light can output or reflect in any direction and this machine has almost no safety features built in. You should at all times watch your laser when it's busy and you should always be wearing protection for your eyes like goggles. Also you must make sure that no other persons or pets can enter the room where this machine is active or even only turned on. Lasers are dangerous and well, they can blind people and pets in just a fraction of a second, especially the high power lasers like the ones used in diode laser engravers like this one. So please always be careful when working with a machine like this and never allow kids to play with it or even to watch as the laser is doing its magic. If you like this laser, well, there's an affiliate link in the description of the video. You pay the normal price for the product and I receive a small fee for my work on this channel, especially making this video. If you have a question about this or other laser machines, then please let me know and I will see if I can answer them for you. So please make sure to also subscribe to this channel and like this video. And if you didn't like this video, well, let me know, give me a comment and tell me why you didn't like it and well, hit the thumbs down twice. I hope to see you again soon and well, of course, thanks for watching and bye. 
I said, and bye. As if this was some kind of erotic video. Whoa. That is advertised as a diode laser and engraver or cutter of 40 watt. Whoa. I received this laser for free to make a review, but everything I say is my own opinion, and I'm opinion, op, op, opinion. It already was clear to me that there are no end stops used in the laser frame. Why are there no end stops? End stops cost nearly nothing, and on the board there, there is an input for the end stops. It's really very simple to place end stops. Why? The laser is mounted on a lift in platform. <laughs> oh, why am I alive?